What's up guys, Meredith with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we are checking out the Magnaflow Overland Series single turndown exhaust system fitting all 2003 and newer 4 liter 4 runners. Now, if you want more out of your V6 when it comes to the sound, but you need to keep clearance in mind if you're doing any off-roading with your 4 runner, this system is going to be a great one to check out. Now as you just heard from the sound clip, this will offer a deeper tone out of the 4 liter without being obnoxious, so I'm putting this right in the middle of the loudness meter at a 3 out of 5 with 1 being stuck and five being wake the neighbors loud. That noise level in addition to the configuration will be great if you want some more character to the sound of the 4Runner without being uncomfortable uh, for those longer drives with little to no drone and simply just want some better performance compared to a better appearance. The biggest feature here is this system has a high clearance design that will give you that additional ground clearance compared to other systems, even the factory system, so you won't have to worry about pinching the tailpipe shut or damaging the tips if you do come down off of an obstacle off-road. The rich tone will also bring a lot of personality to the 4 liter, deepening it for a more aggressive feel while sparing you the excessive volume if you only want to hear the exhaust when you get on it, and that's basically it. Now that comfortable experience that you'll have is thanks to Magnaflow's NDT resonators, or no drone technology, which will use their quarter wave passive noise cancellation to deaden that drone that you would otherwise hear, keeping you very comfortable inside the cab area. This will be made of a full stainless steel construction to hold up incredibly well to rust over time, and the tubing will also be mandrel bent, creating a smooth flow of air for better efficiency and of course some better sound compared to the factory system. This will also come with everything that you need in order to bolt this straight up to your 4Runner to the factory locations with factory style hangers and clamps. This will come in at about $850, which is pretty on par for other systems similar to it. Now choosing a system does come down to a couple different factors, but what I will say about this is that it's right in the middle as far as pricing is concerned and is more performance driven with the high clearance design rather than appearance driven. Now, this will also not be over the top compared to other shortened turn down or ladder systems if you want to keep it mild with your 4Runner, making this a great option. Install will be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and should only take you about an hour to get the job done. Now at this point, we can head over to our shop and check out the detailed breakdown on how to get this onto your 4Runner at home. So that is gonna wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. For this install, you need a three, it's impact, three, it's extension, 15 millimeter and 14 millimeter swivel socket, exhaust hanger tool, and a type of grease. All right, today we're going to be installing an exhaust on our 4Runner, but first we're going to watch a quick video how to install the stock system, and then we'll come back here to install the new one. So our first step is to unbolt our tailpipe from our muffler pipe. We have two 14 millimeter bolts on that flange that we need to remove, and then one hanger on our tailpipe to completely remove it. Now this one might be a little bit hard to see, but we're going to have to go over our track bar and take our 14 millimeter socket to remove our bolts. Next we can come about a foot behind the end of our tailpipe and we have one hanger right up here. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but we'll get our exhaust hanger remover and pop that out of our isolator. Now with our tailpipe free, we can wiggle it out of the way. Next we can start working on our muffler pipe. Now we have two hangers towards the front by our flange that we can pop out first. So we'll grab an exhaust hanger tool, pop those isolators off. And next we can grab the one on the front side of our muffler. And then we can throw that back on to our rod. Next, we can come up to our flange and remove these two 14 millimeter spring bolts. So we'll grab a 14 millimeter socket, pop these out. Yeah. 
Now we can come back behind the muffler and remove our two last hangers. Now it's gonna be a good idea to grab a buddy to go back to the flange to hold that because once we remove these two hangers, the whole piece is gonna fall. So we'll grab our exhaust from the hanger remover tool, pop these out. and then remove our pipe. And now with our hangers removed, we can remove our muffler pipe. All right, the first thing we're gonna do before we put our new system is, is we are gonna grease up our isolators just to make things go a little bit easier at the install. So we're gonna take some grease and just go where the exhaust hangers will slide into. And you just repeat that for all the other isolators on the system. All right, now we're gonna put our front flange pipe on. We're gonna put it in our hanger first. Put it over our flange and we're just going to loosely thread in our spring bolts. Alright, and we'll come back and tighten them down after we get the, everything else installed. Alright, now we can put our muffler section on. What we're going to do is we're going to put our clamp over first and then we'll hang our muffler up on our three isolators. We have one in the front and two in the rear. You might not be able to see this inside one. All right, so we're gonna hang our muffler up on our rear isolators first. All right, we can slide our muffler into our front pipe and then put it on our front isolator. All right, so next we're going to put our over axle section after our muffler. So we're gonna put our clamp over first. And then we are gonna go get our pipe. It's gonna be pretty hard to see, but this part will go over the axle and over the frame. This flange part will go towards the muffler. So you're just gonna fish it up over and then slide it onto the end of the pipe here. All right, now we just have our last section to go up, our section with our tip on it. So we are going to put our clamp over first. We're gonna slide it into our exhaust hanger. And then we can slide it into our pipe that we put on over the axle. All right, now we can go back through and tighten everything, starting from the front, working our way back. All right, now we're gonna start by tightening everything, starting from the front, working our way backwards. So we're gonna start with our front flange bolts. So we're gonna grab our impact extension and a 14 millimeter swivel. All right, now we're gonna tighten our clamp at the front of the muffler. Just angle it how you want. We're gonna take our impact with our 15 millimeter socket and tighten it down. All right, now we're gonna tighten our clamp after our muffler for our pipe that goes over our axle. Just slide our clamp up into place, get our impact with our 15 millimeter socket, and tighten it down. All right, and we have our clamp for our tip. I'll put it in the position, do the same thing, impact with 15 millimeter socket. All right, now this exhaust system allows you to customize how you would like it to sound. On the back of the muffler, you see there's an open spot. So there's two options. You either have a larger chamber to help get, deal with drone and also make it more of a moderate sound or a smaller cap, which gives it more of an aggressive sound. What we're gonna go with today is we're gonna put our cap on to go with more of an aggressive sound. All right, so we're gonna grab one of our last clamps and our cap and slide it over. Grab our impact and 15 millimeter socket and just tighten it down. All right, and that wraps up our install of our Magnaflow Overland Series Catback Exhaust System for our 2003 and newer 4-liter 4 4Runner. 4 and remember, for everything 4Runner, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.